Good. Do you need a map or a guide today? Yes, please. Thank you. Thanks. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. So today we are visiting Yellowstone National Park. Rachel's been asking for the last couple days. Since we've been staying outside of Cody, it's only about an hour drive here. But we're excited. Gonna go explore the park. Your girl's gonna have fun? Yeah. And I'm making things with my pony holders. <laughs> so far. It's been a gorgeous drive in, and now we're drive around, have a picnic lunch, and explore. So we were just driving down the road, and we came to a very big turn, and all of a sudden, there's a buffalo right there. Now he's staring at me, and it's really creepy. He's big, and he's, he's just munching away on the grass and he doesn't care that we're here. You wanna take him home with us? I don't know. You think he'll fit in our truck? No. No, but guess what? I should've brought my stuffed buffalo. And I should've brought my prairie dog. It's pretty hazy from the different fires that are around which is a bummer, but it looks like it's the ocean now. You can't even see the other side. It just keeps going. We're at the ocean now. So we are looking at the big, big lake and in the thermal area, there's smoke coming out. Steam. Steam coming out, sorry. Um, and it smells like rotten eggs. Don't you want to live here? Smell this all day long? No. As we've done a couple times, we put our action camera on the top of our truck to get some good video footage, but it is really, really windy today here in Yellowstone, especially here on the lake. It, winds are probably about 25, 30 miles an hour, and we went past an RV and got a wind gust from that as well, and this thing flew off the side. The camera still works. The screen is cracked on the back. There's some scuffs all around, but I don't think we're going to be putting that on the back top of the truck again today. Uh, probably mount it on the inside, keep it a little bit safer, but the good news is at least it works and we got the footage from it, which is kind of nice. Yeah. So our family has mixed feelings about encountering a bear at Yellowstone, but along the tree line over there, everyone here is stopping, there is, looks like a mother bear with a baby bear. You can't really see it uh, through the camera. But this is probably a safe distance to see a bear from. I'm happy with this. What are you gonna do, Bubba? I'm gonna ride it to school. You're gonna ride this swan to school? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think the swan would like that very much. I'm gonna train it to do that. Really? It's not that cold out here. It's like 65 degrees, no. but it is very, very windy. Yeah. And Rachel was smiling for our picture. It hurts my teeth if I smile and the wind blows. It makes them cold. And She's I got old lady teeth. It's my old lady teeth. I can't eat ice cream. I can. I can if you smile, does it hurt? No, no. it doesn't. It doesn't <laughs> Only for even you. hurt a little. But it's beautiful out here. The sand is gorgeous. Volcanic sand, which means it's like black. it is black.
So the other buffalo that we saw earlier today was pretty, pretty fun to see, but we pulled up at our picnic site and right across the way is a herd. Well, we don't want you to fall. Lana's gonna kill herself climbing this old dead tree. So we found the Nez Pierce picnic area, which was the turnoff where all the buffalo were, and it is amazing here. It's beautiful. I keep saying this area reminds me of the movie Homeward Bound. Did you see that when you were a kid? Or now? Um, I don't know if it was filmed here or not. That's rude. Eat in front of the camera. We're talking Hungry? to you our want friends. A, you want a sandwich? Anyway, it reminds me of Homeward Bound for some reason. Maybe it's just the mountains and the trees and the landscape, but I think this is where Sassy fell in the river. Yeah, right up, <laughs> right up here. We should throw our dog in the river. She's not with us. And She's don't not throw with the us dog today. In the river. It would be fun. The water is crystal clear. It should be just fine. The, in the, the water is really nice. It's not too cold, mm -hmm. but the rocks are kind of jaggedy on your feet. And pokey. We should have water shoes or something. Oh, we should have waterproof sandals that aren't really sparkly. Yeah, something to protect our feet, because this is beautiful, but it's kind of ouchy. while but we made it back past the bison and now we are at the mud volcano and Mariah has been fascinated with volcanoes for years since kindergarten uh -huh. and are there you a little go. bit excited for this yes she doesn't believe me that it's real volcano no well it's not really but it's made it out of bubbles mud. up like a it's volcano like, and it's like muddy I guess because it's a mud volcano so it's gonna be exciting Mud volcano used to be a real volcano that would shoot up really high, uh, but it blew itself up. Um, so now it's just like a big, huge, bubbly mud puddle. And, but it's really cool. It's not just a bubbly mud puddle. It's like a piece of history of how it used to blow up like that. But now it's just like tiny little pops. <laughs> Mixing the potion. It's actually bubbly, bubbly. It's pretty smelly here and it's kind of making me sick. No, it smells good. She likes the smell.
the other side? There's a rainbow down there. Lana just said she wanted to see a rainbow. We got a good view of the falls from the artist point on the other side. And now we're on the other side of the river at the brink of the falls, hopefully to get a closer view because from where we were before, probably like a half mile away, not the best view, but now we can hear it and we are right here on the edge. This is awesome. calling it a day at Yellowstone today. This was day one. We will be back in the park several times. We'll be camping at on least the- two more times? Yeah, we'll be camping on the other side and meeting up with friends another day. So um, we'll be back in. But this was so cool. Like we saw just a fraction of the east side of the park and we saw so many different things. It was yeah. really amazing. I'm, I'm really impressed with the park. And right now I'm recording this because we're in the middle of the road <laughs> and we're stuck in buffalo traffic. Buffalo traffic. Again, again, the same buffalo herd we saw before. We're heading back the other way and it looks like we have a quarter mile to go. We have not moved for about six or seven minutes yep. and we've only seen about six or seven cars come past the other way. So we might be here for a little yeah. bit. Thankfully, we got plenty of gas. <laughs> so and we'll make it out. So that's it for Yellowstone today. So if you guys want to see our other Yellowstone videos, they should be coming out next week. If you want to subscribe to the channel, give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we hope to see you guys on the road.